K's in his name. Marco. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, so this, like I said, I've never created with, with uh, this tool before, but it seems like it might be good for kids to get started to see how to use this kind of stuff. I mean, any kid can work a sketch. I recommend a blender, not so much. It's hard to get started blenders that can do anything. And by the way, as we close, I'm going to put up Big, uh, uh, big uh, Buck Honey, which is an animation that to me seems very close to what you get from Pixar, that was done by a team of a couple hundred blender people. And I think we'll find it present. And we'll have that playing while I answer questions. Oh, push the run button. No, it, it hasn't finished running. There you go. So this thing is walking around, and down here, this you can do some control, so you can change things. But you can also do this. You have you can grab this and give it a little shake and see what it does. I know almost nothing about this, but you can. Uh, oh, you can turn gravity. Oh, oh, you bounce off the ceiling. Bounce down here. You can change friction. It's hot. Now it's going slower and so forth. Okay, so let's cancel that and we'll discard. Discard it. Thank you. So uh, let's let's go to YouTube. Let me see if okay. Let's see if they. I think they have. If you can't make this work, do this yourself. They feel very impressed with Big Buck Bunny, which is a blender. It's a 15-minute video. As I said, it was built by hundreds of volunteer blender people, and. Oh, let's make this full screen while you're... So you see you have this, and it's a demonstration of technology as well as a story. There's water flowing, it looks... Uh, this screen, by the way, uh, that screen, not particularly good for it, seeing how the quality of this. You can see individual hairs on the characters' heads and so forth. So remember that name, and you can watch this. And it's out of Buddy Who's Sleeping. I won't tell you what happens in the story. It's it's like a little bit scary, but every kid who's in here can watch Big me and not be too scared. As we go into the cave, I, can, I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, let's kill the lights now. Can we do that? Yeah. Thanks. There's the button. Me. <laughs> now, we're, our, our internet connection is not super fast here, and we're not seeing the highest resolution we could. But Bunny obviously is the hibernating. And uh, see those facial expressions? Remember I was talking about designing astronauts with SketchUp. I, I would want to try to do this with SketchUp and try to make an animation. All right, so um, maybe I'll just stand up and let that run and uh, be happy to answer, turn the lights up a little bit. And I'll be happy to answer questions. And uh, once again, I'm Ed Friedman, so if you want to send me an email and get my script, which has links to all these demonstrations, I'd be happy to send you that. Yes? I don't know if I'm not sure 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 if i I never used it. I, so I can't tell you why it wouldn't work. But uh, now, and since you brought that up, when you, if you're interested in Blender, uh, watch for many, many versions of it. There's, as I said, Unix, Linux, uh, uh, Linux, Unix. But when you get the Windows version, notice they have a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. So you've got to take care of that. And they have a uh, couple of versions for Mac, depending on what operating system. Okay, other questions? Yes? You can't run this thing right after You can add the helm. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can do sound. I, I, we're not doing that here. Oh, oh. so just hit the button on your head. Oh, these nasty rodents. They're, oh, they're bad. They're bad. Oh. But just look at the technology here for facial expression and how ears move around. And oh, this is not, they are, they are rude. Watch this on a screen that has high resolution and will be really impressed with the level of detail. And rendering this took, they have rendering farms that you participate in that are shared computers across the world. And rendering this took, I don't know, 10 days, a rendering farm of 2,000 computers. Because it's, it, when you render, it makes a high resolution image of every frame, and this is probably 15 frames or more per second. So, lots of computers. Now, you can do everything I showed you without doing any rendering. But something like this, where I think this was a, a contest winning amateur video, you know, done by these volunteers. And you try to make it right by doing really good rendering. Okay, other questions? Yes? Can you make uh, Oh, sure. This is all I've showed you today is here in QuickTime or ABI, and you can export to whatever video format you want, and they go right into uh, PowerPoint, or you can put it on YouTube. And if you go to YouTube and look for examples of Blender videos, there's only about 100,000. <laughs> Every person who discovers how to work with fluids in Blender 
publishes a two or three second aha, I was able to do it and here it is. And then there's an endless array of tutorials. Like I said, many of them done by kids. Uh, look, at, look at his expression here. He is he's prepared for war. And this, this goes on for 15 minutes. But it's a great example of what can be done now. You, you, okay, any other questions? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can well see in SketchUp. Gotta think about that. Uh, yes, you can. We get into the, the tools that are in SketchUp, the sketchy physics tool are, you can play with gravity and change it's there. But it's not as in Blender you can you have all kinds of things you can do. I did show you all the the force fields that you can use in Blender. Remember I showed you the wind. It's a huge long list of magnetic, electrostatic, um, uh, oh, and uh, you know, in the wind part of SketchUp of Blender, they have a random thing. So if you want a flag that is looks really authentic while blowing in the reeds, you get a, a random component to the wind. Wind doesn't have to be constant. Yes? How large are the applications when you download them? How much space do you have to allocate on the computer? They're not really big at all. Uh, Alice is the biggest one. If you get a university version of Alice that has put on your computer a thousands of avatars, that one's pretty big. It's like 125 megabytes. Uh, Blender, I think, is like 30 megabytes of software. <laughs> you guys are watching this? <laughs> it's, it has, I mean, the people that wrote this had a clever idea, a script, uh, and it's got great music, which you're not hearing now. And uh, so the story is music, and, and when you see the list of credits, you'll see hundreds of names. So they parse these things up, and they give each person a while give them an assignment. You're responsible for making sure the background is a certain way in a certain orientation. Oh, I was going to say, and, and this isn't as good as it really looks. It's an HD, no, it's better than HD. This is, it's a 720p video. HD is 480p. It's what? Oh, it's not. Oh, uh, DVD, I'm sorry. DVD is 480. These are, this is 720. You see this elastic motion of the limbs? That's real physics. I mean, it's not like an artist drew, like Disney guys used to do, where they drew a succession of pictures of a bending limb. It's not the way this works. The squirrel has mass, and there's gravity. And when the squirrel lands on a limb, the elastic properties of the limb are used to create, this is a physics-based simulation. Okay, any other questions? They didn't use Blender. There are a couple of, of feature films that have segments of animation that use Blender because there's hundreds of thousands of Blender artists. And by the way, there's a locally, there is a guy, Alan Parker, who is the first American certified as Blender instructor. And he occasionally does classes for the public. And he's got one come up Sunday at Parker Library for about two hours Sunday afternoon. So if you're interested, let me know. And I think you're interested in this as well. And the, the funny thing is, speaking about kids, he, he's an adult, comes in, and he's got bags of computers and stuff. And he's got a 10-year-old one. And they unload all the stuff. They put on the table, and the 10-year-old sits down, and he does the stuff while that's the over here and says, Okay, Junior, now show everybody how you do fluids or whatever. And the 10-year-old is doing the stuff. And the class I went to, the 10-year-old said, hey, I learned a new way to do this particular thing. And he would teach an ad during the class. It's just, so, so you see here at the beginning of the, I don't know if it has the complete list of contributors to the construction of this film, but I have seen the list of all participants. You know, they have these little things like you have no movies for that little uh, cartoons going on in the background. But a lot of people participate. Okay, so, just point into the couple things. First of all, we're going to run out of yes. table machines. We need to make this bubble again. I want to thank you for the most amazing time I've had in 15 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see available for autographs. And yeah, if you want to stick around and talk about it. I'm going to help you. You can be here at 10 o'clock tonight. I probably could. So let's call it and come on back. Oh, there's, come a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a list of names. I can't read them because we're working with relatively low resolution. But hundreds and hundreds of people each contribute something to creation of this. And there's lots more like